Stephen Lee's day began with a trip to his lawyers to learn his fate. Have you heard yet? No. Not heard. Just off. No. Do you know when you're back to here? Um, I'm just off Sea Malloy now. Okay. So. A few hours later, he was banned for 12 years and ordered to pay £40,000 in costs. In explaining his punishment, Adam Lewis QC said Lee did not strike him as a cynical cheat and described him as a weak man under financial pressure. But he said Lee was in a vulnerable position who succumbed to temptation. After evidence presented to the tribunal of extraordinary betting by groups associated with Lee, the Independence chairman said it was unlikely Lee was a prime mover or instigator of the fixes and that a lifetime ban was not proportionate or necessary to deter. Lee returned home and maintained his innocence. I'm absolutely devastated. Um, absolutely devastated. Uh, I've done nothing wrong, totally innocent from this. Earlier this month, an independent tribunal found that Lee had fixed matches or frames in four different competitions. Lee lost three matches in the 2008 Malta Cup. In the UK Championships in the same year, he won both matches in question but lost the first frame. He lost to Mark Selby in the 2009 China Open and a match against Ryan Day in the World Championships where Lee lost 10-4. Snooker's governing body had pushed for a lifetime ban but the man who led the investigation said he was satisfied with the 12-year punishment. I think it sends a very clear message uh, that people who get involved in match fixing are, are going to face severe penalties and, and in Stephen Lee's case this could well in, end his, any, in having any involvement in snooker. Lee later confirmed he would appeal the sanction. I'm going to be with the QC on Friday morning and uh, we're going to look at the whole, whole picture um, and start making some big holes in, uh, in their no, their, they've got no facts. So you totally disagree with the evidence they've developed? Oh. That's just unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, 11 months of this is, uh, is outrageous. The Crown Prosecution Service say they have not been asked to review their decision last year not to bring a criminal case. 12 months ago, they said there was insufficient evidence to bring a case before a jury. Lee was found guilty on the balance of probabilities in this civil case with a lower standard of proof and is now banned until October 2024. Brian Swanson, Sky Sports.